What's up? What's up, family? How many of you guys have ever heard of schizotypal personality disorder? I never heard of this particular term. That is until a family member by the name of Adam forwarded me a video where a gentleman who is studying to get his uh, doctorate in sociology made a video talking about this so-called official mental or personality disorder. And what I found particularly interesting about this video is that the individual used people who think outside the box. There was a primary association with the so-called New Age. Now, I've said this before and I will say this again. There's no such thing as new here. That old saying, there's nothing new under the sun, is so very true. The new age is simply recycled, ancient, occultic, metaphysical information that our ancient ancestors knew of, the indigenous people knew of. It's just that now it has been repackaged, different terminology, just like in many ways, Organized religion could very well be a form of New Age information. The only reason why it's not seen in that way is because it has, from many of our perspectives, been around far longer. And because it is a preset program or package that has been green-lighted by the so-called gatekeepers of this particular matrix, many of us don't or fail to see the connection between the two. So again, there's nothing really new under the sun. Now, when I looked at this video, I found it quite amusing that this individual tied uh, this particular uh, mental disorder more so on people who would fall more in the line of where I am. I am not a New Ager. I don't identify as a New Ager. I'm, I don't even identify with one who is of organized religious mentality. However, I've always known that there would be a concerted effort, propaganda, to discredit those of us who are awakening and bringing forth this information. Now, I looked up uh, a little bit of information on this particular disorder, and it's relatively new. Um, and the World Health Organization had officially documented this as a class, or a, it falls under the class of schizophrenia. And um, again, it is often associated with those who think and behave out behave outside of the social norms. And ironically, it's one of the terms that the gentleman who made, who made the video that was sent to me, uh, he kept referring to cultural norms or the social norms. Now, you guys know that when it comes down to that coin phrase, norm, what is really normal? It's a rhetorical question, but I'm going to tell you from most people's perspective, what is considered normal is what, what we have been conditioned to accept as normal. In other words, whatever has been pre-programmed, pre-packaged, and given to us by the system or the gatekeepers, no matter how diverse they may appear to be, it is considered to be the norm. I remember being a kid and I would just look at people and um, I always saw this world sort of like an assembly line, like the school system. It's like an assembly line, like we're all going into this system and you have these different manufacturing plants that the end result would be everyone come out the same based on, again, these preset programs. 
And if anyone deviate from the multiple preset programs that are fed to us, we are labeled as crazy. But this particular situation with this so-called uh, schizotypal personality disorder is taking it to another level because now we have those who want to make a clinical diagnosis on those of us who are awakening and bringing forth this information. I know no one who had the symptoms that are outlined in this particular, under this particular disorder. I know no one who is negative, irresponsible, like myself. I am a very responsible for person. I'm very much in control of my own faculty. I mean, hey, I, I come from very, very humble beginnings and worked hard and was able to be successful in many ways against tremendous odds. You know, I maintain credit scores in the top 5% of our population. Never been in trouble with the law. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs. I have family and friends who love me unconditionally. I love my family. I love my friends. I love people. But that so-called deviation from the social norm that I bring is somehow classifying me as being mentally ill. And, and when I say me, not just me, those who are resonating with the message and those of us who are waking up. Because at the end of the day, I see this as a, a, one of, a trick to make people fearful about owning their uniqueness, their unconventional way of being and thinking. And it is to also prevent others from considering us or considering anything that we have to say because the so-called experts have classified us as having a personality disorder. So what I want to do is share this particular video with you. First and foremost, check out the video which is going to be, the link is going to be provided under this video description. The opposite of this particular presentation, ironically, I got these two videos within uh, two days. Um, Adam sent me the one about the mental disorder, and then Baker Man, family member Baker Man, sent me a video, uh, a link actually, that uh, takes, me, takes you to a website where there's a, a lecture by a gentleman by the name of Bruce Lipton, who happens to be, you know, a PhD. And um, the reason why the br the brother sent me the link and asked me to look at it and check it out is because this PhD, by accident, found out that much of what I've been talking about all this time, although it's very unconventional, is a scientific fact. Now, I know how much society loves to give more credit and uh, rally and believe in those who have certain credentials more so than those of us that don't. But you have to ask yourself, how is it that someone such as myself, who is labeled as having a mental illness, according to the World Health Organization, would know of these concepts? that are just way beyond my earthly education, background, and environment. And here, a PhD who is bringing forth this groundbreaking information, and as a matter of fact, the gentleman even flat out say that these earth scientists had it wrong all along because they had been measuring truth based on the five senses. But by accident, he found out that there is far more. Consciousness and life is far more complex than we think. Those of us who believe, still to this day, that we there can't possibly be life after this because we no longer have a, a brain and nervous system to think and operate and process information with. This doctor, this PhD, his scientist, is showing without a shadow of a, of a doubt that there is a system 
that operates independent of the body. And it is a system of its own. Many of you guys have seen my video, Creationism, Evolution, and Intelligent Design. If you have not seen that, look at that video. I had done that video two months ago before I even heard or knew of who uh, uh, Bruce Lipton was. Look at that video and look at this PhD and you see a very strong contrast in the presentation. A very, very strong contrast. There's a strong resonance between people who are on two paths on this planet but bringing forth the same kind of information. And again, for those of us who are labeled as having a mental illness, often because we so-called deviate from conventional norms is often because we do have an insight that is outside of the box and those of us who are not ashamed of it you know we have every right to express it without people you know being quick to demonize us or to label or mock us or make fun of us because history has shown us time and time and time again that it has always been the so-called crazy people, the unconventional, the weird, the eccentric that has brought ideas and helped humanity as a whole evolve and move to the next level. But yet we still have these intelligences that will do everything that they possibly can to discredit people such as myself before we even have a chance to show otherwise. I'm going to give you one more opinion and point of view uh, as it relates to schizophrenia and all these so-called personality disorders. I've said it before and I will say it again. I never once believed that people who had schiz who are diagnosed with schizophrenia, I never saw them as crazy. These are people who simply have an extra antenna to pick up on frequency data and information that most of us cannot. And just imagine being in a world where you have an extra receiver of all of this and most people don't have it. You don't have anyone to relate to because they're going to think you crazy and they call you crazy. And then you end up going to a doctor and they diagnose you as basically mentally ill. And what do they do? They drug you up. It's the drugs that really make us crazy. It should be that we take people who have this extrasensory awareness, teach them how to manage it naturally, how to control it, how to make it work in their favor. Not tell them over and over and over again, you're crazy and therefore you need drugs. No. I never believed that. Never believed that. And it was reinforced when I worked with a young lady uh, three years ago who worked at an insane asylum. And she resigned. And the reason why she resigned is because she told me that she realized that these people were not crazy. Because... They all talked about and gave witness to the exact same things, the same stories. How could all of these people who come from different walks of life, different ages, different stages in, in life, different levels of consciousness be describing the same thing if they are not all tapping into something that is evident that most of us just aren't able to tap into? So, hey, I say that uh, if I have a mental disorder, it has been working very well for me. <laughs> you know? So that's all I have to say, family. Check out these two links below and get back with me and tell me what you think. And as always, you will love beyond measure and happy travels. I'm about to get some sleep. Good night.